Hello and welcome to the fourth video of Java Persistence API tutorial. In this video, I'm going to talk about the entity relationship and more specific to the one-to-one -one relationship. Generally, the relations are more effective between tables in the database. Therefore, the relationship between entity classes are the following. One-to-one -one relation, one-to-many relation, one-to-one -one relation, many-to-many -many relation. In the one-to-one -one relationship, one item can belong to only one other item. It means each row of one entity is referred to one and only one row of another entity. Let's start. I'm going to use the same student entity implemented in the previous video. It's a simple entity with an ID, first name and last name. Also, I'm going to use the student repository class where I've put all persistence operations. Inside the student class, I'm going to add the one-to-one -one relationship with the school class. To do so, I have to use the one-to-one -one annotation inside the attribute school. Then, I'm going to add the get and set method and I'm going to create the school entity inside the model folder. I put the entity annotation and three attributes, ID, name and city. Let me add an empty constructor and another one with just the name and city as parameters. Then, to register the school entity as a GPI entity, I have to add it inside the persistent XML like I have done for the student class. Now I'm ready to create a new method called addSchool inside the student repository in order to add the school for a specific student. I have used the Entity Manager to begin and commit a new transaction. Before assign a new school inside the student, I have to create and persist the school entity. So I'm going to create a new school repository, similar to student repository, with just a method to add, find, update and delete school.
Let's create and persist our first school. Let's run it. If you check the log, you will see that we successfully store the school entity. Also check the database. Now, I have two tables, school and student table, and inside the student table, I have my school just created. Now, I'm ready to test the add school method. So, I'm going to assign the school to my student. Let's run it and check the log. I have my student without school, then I persist the school entity and finally, I have successfully assigned the school to my student. In this video, you have learned how to use the one-to-one -one relationship with GPA. In the following video, I will explain the other GPA relationship. Inside the description of this video, you can find the link to the GitHub repository. I hope you liked and enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or doubts, write to me inside the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be updated with a new video they will upload. Bye!